<laughs> yeah, I liked living in Liverpool. It's one of those, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's one of those places that I've got really mixed sort of memories though. So when you drive in, because it's like 25 years since I was a student, and you drive in and then you kind of like, oh, I remember all the good things. Cause I can, I basically, I remember um, sort of losing my virginity in Liverpool properly um, when I was a student in my first week to a girl that was dressed as a pirate, which was <laughs> fucking awesome, frankly. <laughs> and I didn't know. There wasn't an internet in those days. It wasn't like you've, you've got tips and none of your mates tell you anything when you're young, if you're a lad, you can't, and you couldn't go online and go, oh, how, does, how do you please a woman and stuff? <laughs> I presume that's what you Google, I don't know. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Can answer, who gives a fuck? No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the answer should be, you're not gonna, you're fucking 18, mate. That's the answer, you know? You can't hold it in that long. That's what you should be. Oh, are you enjoying this? Shit, I saw a nipple. Pfft, that's it, over, isn't it? <laughs> Thank God she was wearing that pirate costume and she would have gone blind. Anyway. <laughs> I was 18 years old as well. It was like the end of Ghostbusters. It was fucking everywhere. So, <coughs> oh, I've really got a throat. <coughs> Sorry about this. Uh, so that's like a really nice memory. Um, and then a really kind of shit memory. I was seeing um, a French girl when I was a student here for about six months. Uh, now, to most men in the room, straight away, most men just go like that. Fucking get in. I didn't always look like this. And I'd kind of, I don't know if I had a personality. It's different times. People took loads of drugs, so you just get away with being cocky. <laughs> you literally could go out with someone for three weeks. They were off the tits every night. They had no idea. And you'd just be like, hey, give us an XD hook. Next thing you know, they're like, you're banging them. And um, <laughs> so I went out with this French girl. And the thing with French girls that's very different than English girls is if you piss off an English girl or an Irish girl, they will go fucking mad at you straight away. They don't take any shit, right? If you fuck off a French girl, they just kind of ignore it, but what they do is they just start shagging someone else as well, <laughs> but they don't tell you, and they still keep going out with you. So and it sounds really, really bad, but it's not, it's, it was all right. It was kind of, as long as you're still getting sex, you don't really give a fuck, do you? It was all, after about three months, it was awkward once when I kind of walked in, and saw her just having sex like this. She was like this, over the sofa, um, and Countdown was on, which I've never been able to enjoy that programme since. So she's like that, watching Countdown, which I don't, she's trying to improve her English. And, <laughs> <laughs> and this rugby player called Gary, which is the thing that hurts the fucking most. This big rugby player was just ramming her from behind. And this is the way that French girls react when caught having an affair. She didn't give a fuck. She kind of heard the key in the door, carried on shagging, just looked, and then as I came in, she was actually genuinely pleased to see me. And she just went, Alex, I should be finished in a minute. <laughs> so, all oh, right, what the fuck do I do? Just do a stand and watch? Am I <laughs> do a join in and stuff? And then we did the full, sorry, I just made a brew in the end. And I was like, well, that'll... And then that's fucking awkward, isn't it? Because you're like, well, you know, he'll be finished in a sec. And he's massive. He could clearly have twatted me. <laughs> so, you, yeah, you put the kettle on. You think, well, this is going to be awkward in a minute. When he comes in, when this kettle's boiled and we have that confrontation, I'll have to make him a brew. But, um... <laughs> no, that's going to be... But then, of course, the kettle boiled, which is about three minutes, and then I could hear them. They're still fucking going at it. So I made the brew. I waited a minute for the tea bag put that away, still fucking going at it. And I drank basically nearly all the brew before there were any signs that they were finishing. And I was kind of like <coughs> coughing a lot in the background just to try and get their attention. And then they came in and he just went like that, no hard feelings and shook me hand and then just left. I'd really crushed it as well because he was, he was massive. And I was like, fucking hell, she finishes with me now. I'm going to be needing that. But <laughs> so he, he just fucked off. Then we're face to face, and, and she just went, could you make me one, please? And I was like, okay, that's probably not what I would have opened with if the situation <laughs> was reversed. And then she just went through and critiqued everything that was wrong. She said, I'm a very nice person, I'm quite a good cook, but um, when Gary makes love, he makes love with his head, whereas when I made love, I, I only used my penis. It's kind of like, the fuck? Do you want me to use my head? Then I don't... I'm going to have to take my glasses off. But... 
not going to fit. 